Good morning guys, it's JB of Will Fly for Food. Uh, I just wanted to make this quick video to show you guys how to use the Unicaro so you make a beautiful Neapolitan style pizzas at home every time. Okay, so we were choosing between the Unicoda or the Caro and the reason why we went with a Caro is because it's more versatile. Um, it allows you to cook with a wood, charcoal, and gas, unlike the Unicoda, which only allows you to cook with gas. Uh, when you first get the Unicaru unit, um, it only comes with this tray, which, uh, which is the tray for the wood or the charcoal. And then, but if you get this optional gas burner, then you can attach this and also cook with gas. So if you want more versatility, then get the Unicaru because it allows you to cook with more methods. We want that smoky flavor, so today we're going to be cooking with wood. Um, the Uni website recommends uh, using hardwood, so we ordered these pieces of hardwood online. Uh, they come in these uh, foot-long pieces, which uh, you have to cut to fit into the, the Unicaru tray. Once you have your wood, you need to cut them down to the right size so they fit inside the, the Unicaru tray. Um, you can use either a, an axe or a saw. Personally, I use a saw. And I cut them down to these uh, th three or four inch pieces and about half an inch to an inch thick. This for me is the ideal size because it fits perfectly inside the tray. It's hard to get every piece of wood to the ideal size, so sometimes you'll wind up with chunks like this one. This, this is a pretty fat chunk. Um, it works fine when you're starting off your fire, but A, it takes longer to burn, and it's too big and clunky, and it's hard to fit into the tray when you're trying to keep the fire going. So this is fine at the start, but aim for pieces of wood that are closer to this size. This is the, the tray for the charcoal and the wood. Um, th this piece comes off. When we first got this, it wasn't like obvious how we were supposed to set this up. Basically, you have this handle, right? And this handle should be pointing towards the front, the opening of the oven. And this lid, where you put the actual wood, it goes like this. The uni um, logo is right side up, and you put it down like this at an angle. It doesn't f uh, fit flat, it, it fits it at an angle. And the uni logo should be facing the front of the oven. So when you put it inside, it goes something like this. All the way to the back. Because I want to talk briefly about um, the tools that you need to help you make your pizza. First is this uh, dough scraper. Small little, little tool that helps you work with the dough. And of course you need a peel uh, and uh, you need to dust it with a flour or semolina flour and this will allow you to easily put the, the, the pizza inside the oven and take it out without it sticking to um, the, the peel. So this is essential. And this is a fantastic investment. It's a t turning peel and what it allows you to do is to easily turn the pizza 180 degrees halfway through the cooking process so it doesn't burn. Okay, so when uh, layering the wood inside uh, the tray, uh, don't overload it. Maybe put like four or five uh, pieces of wood in there. And what I like to do is, I like to start up with these larger chunks of wood. I put them at the bottom. I line them up down here. Maybe a couple pieces of these larger ones. And then I'll put these smaller, uh, thinner pieces of wood on top of them. That way, uh, I found that it burns faster that way. See, I put like maybe six pieces of wood in here, kind of layer on top of each other, like you're starting a, like a campfire, bonfire, and put just enough that you can still close the lid, like that. Don't put too much that the wood, that the lid is kind of like this. You know, make sure that it's it's um, it shuts completely. So here we go. We're gonna start torching the wood to get to get our fire going. Um, it takes about 15 minutes to, to get the, the fire burning at the temperature you need, which is around 900 degrees. And this, this blowtorch is such a time saver, guys. I highly recommend getting it. It makes life so much easier. It helps you really get this fire going because sometimes it's not that easy. Okay, so you have to keep adding uh, wood to the fire to, to keep it going and get it to the desired temperature. So, and this is why I recommend um, having small pieces of wood so it's easier to fit into the, into the tray once it's already going, see? So just stick some in there and as before, make sure not to overload it. Just put just enough that you can still close the lid. That's very important because you need to keep this fire going. And in our experience, it takes about maybe 15 minutes for it to reach around 800 degrees or 900 degrees, something like that. And then you can cook your pizza. 
Okay, now um, you have to check the temperature. Just take the lid out, take your thermometer, point it in the middle of the, of the stone. And right now it's at about 375 degrees Fahrenheit, so we're not quite there yet. Okay, I'm gonna check the temperature again. Right now it's about uh, 640, 650. And in our experience, um, when it reaches around 700, 750, that's when I tell Ren so she can start making the pizzas. And by the time it's done, it'll have reached the optimal temperature of 900 degrees Fahrenheit to cook the pizza. Okay, so our oven right now is at about 750 degrees Fahrenheit. So Ren starts making the pizza. She starts assembling it. And what we've found is that by the time, um, if I tell her that the oven has reached 750 degrees Fahrenheit, by the time she's done making the pizza, it'll be at the optimal temperature of 900 degrees, which is just perfect for making the pizza. There she is using the turning field to turn the pizza 180 degrees so one side doesn't burn. It cooks nice and evenly. It only takes about 60 seconds to cook once you reach 900 degrees Fahrenheit. And there she is. Look at that. Look at those leopard spots. Just perfectly cooked pizza. She put some basil on it. Oh my god, it looks and smells so good. Perfect. Just 60 seconds, guys. That's all it takes. Okay, so Ren is now making our second pizza. We usually make two every time we do this. She's using our trusty turning peel to make sure that it cooks evenly. You can see the flame and the raging, it's awesome, it's perfect. And there you have it guys, two perfectly made Neapolitine style pizzas using our beautiful, wonderful Unicaru. We're so happy we bought this. If you're on the fence about getting one, just go ahead and get it. You're gonna love it, I promise. These look so good and they smell even better.